If you have been an atheist for a while, you will have undoubtedly have been asked the question, but why is there something rather than nothing? You see, a theist would be completely incredulous confronted with the fact that another person does not believe in their deity. And then of course they're going to ask this question, why is there something rather than nothing? Now I'm not going to go into ontology in this video. I have made plenty of videos about ontology already and I've put them in a playlist so go have a look it's in the video description if I remember. Anyway I'm going to look at the question itself now, because in actual fact there is something wrong with that question. And in order to illustrate what exactly is wrong with this question, I'm going to raise an example. And the example that I'm going to put forward is that of quantum mechanics. You see, as people started looking at quantum mechanics and a quantum mechanical explanation of nature, they soon started realizing that it predicted results that made no sense. And these results have since been confirmed as well. So quantum mechanics has been vindicated in that way. But still, the results make no sense. You've got the two-slit experiment, for example, where you're firing electrons at two slits in a screen and behind the slits, even though the electrons will go through either one slit or the other, they form an interference pattern as if all the electrons going through the slits, whether they're going through this slit or that slit, are aware of the existence of the other slit. Or similarly, the uncertainty principle, for example, that states that you cannot, with ever-increasing accuracy determine both the location and the speed of a particle. But what does that tell us? In actual fact what that tells us is that there's something wrong with the questions we are asking nature. And you see nature is not going to turn around and say the question is invalid. If you ask na nature a question it is going to give you an answer. And that is the problem with quantum mechanics. You ask nature questions that are within the, the true context of quantum mechanics invalid, such as what is the location of this particle or what is the speed of this particle, and nature will give you an answer. But because the question is invalid, the answers make no sense if you start aggregating them over multiple particles and you start looking at them all together and statistically they don't make sense because the assumptions that particles are things that have location and speed is actually incorrect. And the same thing, the same sort of conceptual problem exists with this question why is there something rather than nothing? The sheer question itself has already introduced an axiom an underlying assumption, an unspoken assumption. Think about it. Why is there something rather than nothing? Why is a question that's looking for reason, a motivation? And the only thing that can exhibit a motivation is an agent. So by even asking the question, why is there something rather than nothing, you have already made this, the silent assumption that there has to be an agent that would have been motivated to create the something that you cannot explain. In other words, the moment a theist asks you why is there something rather than nothing, they have already snuck God into the argument. You are already arguing from the premise that there is a God. No wonder you cannot answer the question in a way that will satisfy a theist. But also, no wonder that none of the answers that the theists themselves have come up with make any sense.